Okay, folks, I'm having a little bit of a technical issue at the moment. I will hopefully be with you shortly. We well, mind well I'm just gonna turn the aircon off because it's uh <laughs> it's getting in my way. I can't believe I've just got the music working, so car crash stream starts already. Uh I'm on the wi I'm on the wireless, I'm on the Wi-Fi tonight, so hopefully you can hear me. Now I know you can hear me because the green bar's going up and down. And I think towards the end you did hear music, yeah? You got sound. Um I haven't got a clue what was playing up there. It was something to do with my uh, DAC system here, uh, which I've managed to sort out. Who got the who got the film? It was Romance in the Stone. Was it uh Greek? 
<laughs> I don't know. I knew there was no stone. I don't know if you, you could hear me. I was saying there is no sound, but I will, uh, I, I've got technical problems. So we will sort it out. But uh, I mean, it's already, it's already, it's a bit laggy, is it? Oh, okay. But there you go. It's what it is. It is what it is at the moment. I haven't yet changed my music. No, I haven't changed my music. I'm a bit brighter. I'm a bit bright. Shall I turn myself down? One second. Stand by. Uh, I'm going to turn myself down. Is that better? Have I have I toned it down a little bit? I'll, I'll keep going. I'll keep going. Could you hear that aircon? Oh, hello, Christian from Grantham. I don't know if this is going to work, Christian. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on. I don't think it works. I'm going to... I'm going to try that again. Let's try that again, again, Christian. Ready? Let's give it there up you go. big time. It works now. <laughs> Hello, bit Christian more. from Grotto. Now let's get cracking. Stand by. <laughs> I'll just turn me up a little bit there. Is that better, Mrs. Welder Wayne? <laughs> you can see that I've moved into the workshop, can't you? Because, like, nothing's going right. Nothing's going right. What aircon? I've got aircon in here. Look, if I put it on, you'll have to tell me now. I have got uh, a noise reduction thing on here, so you might not even hear it. But uh, I'll keep it on for the minute because it is going to be baking hot in here with what we've got to do. I've just had a look at what we've got to do in issue 84, and that's partly the reason why I've got the X-Wing behind me here. But we're going to be um, perfect. Thank you. That's what I like to see. Um, but um, just so you know, I've got up to issue 95 of the uh, of the X-Wing now. There's only five more issues to go. Uh, but the good thing about issue 84 is we're getting to pretty much piece most of it together. Um, I did have to dig out some few things. They want me to use some XWO1 screws in this one. I thought I'd chuckle my screws, but luckily I kept a bag of them. Uh, and the other thing is, while I was going through my drawer of all the things, this had completely fallen to bits so uh, I don't keep the instructions so I had to watch my own video to put everything back in again uh, but this time I've glued things in so it is it, it's not too terrible well I'm gonna keep it on that's good because uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cook otherwise and I don't, I don't want to cook <laughs> Um, I, I haven't played around with a filter or anything yet Craig so this is uh, what it is open the door now because it will let the hot air in I don't want to do that. It's like 30 degrees in the UK at the moment. So, uh, but there you go. I mean, when I'm put this way, you're not really going to hear it anyway because this mic here is picking it up over there, but I'll be facing this direction. And tonight we are going to be using, uh, let's see, camera, that camera? Probably that camera there. I'm guessing Mrs. World of Wayne's going to tell me that that's too bright as well. <laughs> Shall I turn that one down as well? I've been playing with all of these cameras and... Uh, I apologise for this, just doing all the technical stuff. I should have done this before the stream, but uh, the sound was a bit a bit funky. Uh, it's all cool. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw um, Lou was saying like Wayne, Wayne, Wayne. I thought, what did did Lou get romance in the stone first? <laughs> I don't know because I missed all the chat whizzing past. To be honest with you, because I was frantically trying to get the thing working. But uh, I'm really happy that we are on Wi-Fi. I, I upgraded all the Wi-Fi systems. We've got a really strong Wi-Fi signal down the bottom of the garden. I think I'm getting 50 megabits per second download and about 15 megabits upload. So it shouldn't be a problem. And I've got a nice green bar here as well. So uh, everything should be good. Has Wayne ever been accused of being bright? Never. Never, 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 Martin. <laughs> That's good. Yeah, Esther can't shout now, Bergdis. So Bergdis, uh, did you get the forwarded email? Uh, from Amina she managed to um, she's picked up your email she's going to pass it on to the relevant departments so hopefully we can uh, find out what's going on with the deliveries there um, I did have a conversation with Eagle Moss on Monday and I asked them about the uh, Batmobile uh, 66 and I also asked them about the Titanic um, and they had no information to be honest with you I think they're actually working on the Batmobile at the moment but um, there's no information there's no date for release so we just gotta sit tight and wait for an announcement from Eagle Moss I guess uh, which is good you've turned your brightness down you shouldn't have to do that Robert that's 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 for me 
Now we did uh, the leopard tank today. We did. I did the leopard tank today, and that's uh, available for patrons. There were a few issues in that which I've uh, managed to fix, so you'll see that tomorrow. Also, the oh, wait a minute, let me change my camera. Also, it's me again. Also, the Ecto One. I had issue twenty nine come, which is crazy. So basically, all of the wings and all of that will be going on as well. Now that video is going to go up next week, but. Someone did advise me that I put the vent on upside down, a couple of people actually, so I fixed that. Uh, but the door came, so this was the delivery that we're getting the replacement door with a wing mirror. So I've still got to take that door off and replace all of that. So I'm going to do that off camera before I start and tackle issue 29. Uh, issue 29 hasn't really got much to do, it is a lot of trim from the outside. But you think about it, the Ecto-1 has only 141 issues, so we are coming to the end believe it or not, of the Ecto-1. We're going to be doing the roof, putting the lights on and putting some details on, unless they extend it. Uh, but we don't know. We don't know. You'll be able to tell if it's too bright. Your room will soon be full of moths. Uh, true. The door's shut, so they can't get in. So that's not a problem. But I am playing around with new lights and stuff here. Um, I've, I've got some blackout blinds coming. I've already got blackout blinds here, but I need some for the door, which is why when you see my live, uh, my live streams, when you see my videos in the morning, um, I've got the sun on me, and I'm like a vampire in here. I don't, don't want the sun on me. <laughs> You're missing issue 83. Can I use 82? Uh, the part I need connected to the cockpit frame. Um, I don't think you can, Raymond, because you, you're, you're creating the frame, aren't you, around that system there? So, uh, no, you can't. They're at different angles as well. So that's going to be fun. Um, for you Patreon people, tomorrow on Patreon stream, I thought it'd be fun if we if we have a go at building this. We'll have a go at building this. We've never done a kit on the channel. So uh, we'll see how far we get on that on Patreon tomorrow. If you want to join my Patreon, if you haven't been on the Patreon, it only costs a dollar to join. There's the link for Patreon. One dollar for the month and you get all the free access stuff, early access, you get the uh, prize draw that we have every month. Uh, you get me to see me build this and you get a lot of the behind the scenes stuff especially what's going on in the uh, man cave at the moment um, there was something else I had to tell you uh, it's coming to me the Just Giving I cannot believe the Just Giving site managed to reach its target in two days so what's happening now I think Ian's keeping it up for another week is it Ian? I'm not sure there's the link there and uh, anything else that we make above that now, uh, as you know, my dad's in late stages of Parkinson's now. We're going to donate to the Michael J. Fox Parkinson's charity. So uh, um, it's a good cause. And that's what we're doing. And um, in return, I, have, I I finally got the adapter here, and you'd be happy to know. Uh, I'm going to be powering up my uh, C, what's it called, CNC? I don't know, my engraving machine. And I'm going to start making bricks out of wood that I'm going to be putting on the outside of the workshop for all time it's gonna look pretty cool looking forward to doing that so uh, but I haven't got a clue how to use it yet I'll be honest with you so that's uh, something I'm gonna have to do um, I think the uh, I don't think we're, well I don't know I don't know when the Titanic's coming to be honest with you so we'll have to wait and see hello Gerald how's it going um, I'm gonna be getting cracking on with this I think Please come and sponsor, get a brick in your workshop. Yeah, get a brick in the workshop. And what I'm planning to do is once the bricks are on the outside, I want to have a slow pan of the workshop and it's going to form part of the introduction to the channel. And I want the world of Wayne. I know for years I've had this rotating earth and I'm still probably going to have that, but I'd like a, a few more flashy things at the start. Probably, uh, we'll see. It's, it, it's, it's what I'm toying with at the moment. Um, hello, Howard. How's it going? What about Iron Man? Are you doing Robocop and Alien? They haven't come out in this country yet. And for me to get it, I'm going to have to get it from France, which uh, postage and Brexit and customs is just a nightmare. But I've got 12 stages of Iron Man down here at the moment. I've got a lot. I didn't get scared of the uh, DC3. I can't build it, um, Howard, until my workshop and paint booth's up. Look, the paint's there, but I've got no way to paint the parts that I need to paint at the moment. So, uh, but that's, that's an order because I'm getting a proper heavy duty workbench in here. So that's going to be hopefully here at the end of the month. Uh, so we'll see. Um, but listen, what I'm going to be doing tonight, I'm going to be doing the x wing I'm going to start with uh, issue 84. And it does mean that when I'm doing it, I'm really sorry that I'm not going to be able to pick up all the chat and all of that. And I'll try and get what I can. Mrs. Weld and Wayne and all the moderators will try and answer if you've got a question for me. Or they'll feed back to me after the stream. But uh, if I don't see a 
text for you or a comment on the screen i apologize for that it's because i'm concentrating and as this is car crash tuesday chances are something's going to go wrong <laughs> so we have to see especially to start off with because apparently we're using glue to start off with so let's do this i'm gonna pick what camera not that one i'm gonna pick that camera there we go i think that'll do yep that looks okay and uh, we will start so i've turned my finger around i don't know if that's improved the noise here but let me just show you what we're doing as you can see here we're creating the uh, torpedo torpedo bay housing and this is what it wants me to glue i have got a little pot here to put some glue in um, once we've got that housing in place and it looks like that then we've got to bring the x-wing over we've got to plumb some wires down the side take a part off put a part on uh, put the cockpit in and then screw it all together so hopefully if everything goes right put in the torpedo bay housing on as well by the end of it it looks like an x-wing which is going to be pretty amazing but can we get to that stage is the question oh the uh, motor yeah that's that's another good point as well if you didn't see uh, if you're not a patreon we actually replaced the motor in this and it works it works absolutely fine so i might show you that if uh, it's not too hard after the stream but uh, we'll see how it goes so here we go <laughs> oh i'm scared i haven't done a build like this for ages okay so the first thing we need is this piece here and i'm just going to lay it out exactly as they want it so we're going to have that there we're going to have this this way around this this way around and this is going to be going i'm guessing on the bottom and the first thing it wants me to do is to put this side in here like that now they're saying glue it if we want to it does clip in and pretty much for this whole build at the moment we've uh well you still have to easy it come out there so i think i am gonna put a bit of glue in this now i'm nervous about this one god i haven't used my glue for ages come on uh where's me sprue cutters let's cut the top of that off don't do that at home <laughs> oh dear uh oh car crash already we've had a car crash can you see the problem already i've got a little dab of glue there we go we got that off <laughs> oh it's gonna be one of them nights tonight right okay so i'm not putting too much glue in here I'm just putting it around the edges this build hasn't had much in the way of glue at all to be honest with you so so this goes on this way push that in excellent same on the other side because the whole of the build has been um <coughs> pushed to fit <coughs> and then I, i've learned the accident with that because obviously the this fell to bits in the drawer so now all of those pipes are glued in haven't got to worry about that anymore um this one goes in this way push that down let's have a look how that looks that looks good and then we're going to be putting the top on and the top's going to go on this way here i believe uh hang on stand by nope it goes on with the flat side facing down like that so i'll put some glue just here They don't show that very good in the uh, instructions, I have to say. As you can see, I'm not swamping it with glue. Good old super glue from the range, yeah, I, I've lived by it. I've been using it for years now. It's good stuff. Okay, so we get this one in here. Excellent. This one in this side. Excellent. Make sure that's all in. We have got some torpedo housing going on, so not too bad at the moment now we've got these little posts to put in now they're going to be going in let me get this right they're going in to these holes here but this has got one rough side 
and one smooth side. It's the smooth side that's going to go down first. And they want me to put some glue in here, but uh, just trying to think how this can go. One second, stand by. Hmm, you know what? I've just realized I've made a mistake already. Look, car crash Tuesday. This is why I don't use it. I put it on the wrong way. You should be watching me, people. I bet you're all screaming at me. <laughs> did, did Lou realise then that I put it on the wrong way? <laughs> what am I like? Oh, even that's on the wrong way. God, this is Crash Tuesday stream. You can tell I haven't done a load in ages, can't you? Right, this is meant to be on this way. That makes sense. I think I've still got wet glue on here. I managed to realise my problem straight away. <laughs> right, let's put this on the right way. <laughs> uh, we got there in the end. Right, okay. Now we're happy. Right, this time what we're going to be doing is we're going to drop some glue just into the hole at the bottom here. And as I said, with the smooth side, we're going to put that down the top. So it lands into the hole at the bottom. And I'm going to push it in. Making sure I can get that in as far in as I can get it. Doesn't really want to go in very well, I have to say. There we go. That's in. So it should be flush at the top. And then that's the first one in. And we're just going to repeat that four more times. We've got one on this side. Did I give you all a heart attack then, did I? <laughs> Gave myself a heart attack. you got to remember that I haven't done a live stream, a build live stream, since last Wednesday from the Patreon stream. And that was a hard one. But there we go. That's looking okay. We've got two in. Let's do the other side. One in here. All the way down. I knew exactly what I was doing there. I just thought I'd make you laugh. That's that's my excuse. <laughs> that's the third one. And last but not least. By the way, whoever came up with the idea of setting light to this to get rid of the glue, thank you so much for that, because that worked an absolute treat. I don't have to keep nicking uh, Mrs. World of Wayne's pins anymore. Okay. Trying to get it in the hole is quite hard. I think I've got it now though. Yep. Yeah. Just push that in. So it's flat and there we go. They're all in. That looks quite impressive actually. Uh, then we're going to be, these are just definitely pushed to fit. Making sure we put them the right way round. So this end here is going to go on here. Now you've got a larger lug and a smaller lug so it can only go on one way. And we're just going to push these together making sure that it's even all around do the same on the second one here in and push that down you heard that click and then these are just going to go over the edges here and again it's just a push to fit that's one. I don't think I'm going to put glue on these because they are holding quite nicely there. But there you go. That is the housing complete. So this is where things are going to get a bit funky. I'm probably going to change the camera. So stand by. I'm going to have this camera up because I'm going to be bringing over. Oh crap! The X-wing. Oh dear. Oh, it's messy. <laughs> Right, what have I lost? <laughs> the cockpit's falling out. I've got that. I think I've. I think I've got everything. Stand by. <laughs> Something's missing. Uh, I'm missing something. Uh, <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. Ah, there it is. I was looking for this. 
I was looking for this. I dropped it. So, there we go. I do see your message, Arsena. Right. Let's uh, put this kind of like there, I guess. And they want me to lay this out with the nose piece over here. Now, coming out of this, we've got, what's under there? Let me just have a look at this. We've got a cable doing nothing. It's just an extension cable, really. But I've got two cables. How many they got? They got quite a few here. I'm just uh, checking in everything I've got here. I will put the light back in for the cockpit afterwards. I've got the switch here. Uh, I'm just having a quick read of this. Okay, well, just looking underneath as well. All right. That's not the switch, that's a receiver there. Right, okay. So, <laughs> they want me to mount this to the frame here. So I'm going to put all the wires inside and just figure out how this goes. So we've got the longer one here. This is going to actually fit on it like this here, somehow. Just looking. Hmm. Uh, stand by. Get that out the outside there. Why is it a bane of my life at the moment? See, now this is supposed to go uh, in here. But it doesn't want to go in. Why doesn't it want to go in? Aha, we got it. I've got one side in. Now I need to connect that with an XWO1 screw. So I've got that here. Don't forget to have all parts for the cockpit in place. But Yep, I will do. That's okay. I have got all the parts for the cockpit, but they uh, obviously just all fell on the floor. <laughs> so, XWO1 screw in here. Whoops, it's just moved. Stand by. It's not a good fit at the moment, I have to say. It is when I pinch it together like that. This is painful at the moment. Bear with me. Why do I do these streams? <laughs> this is not going in at the moment. put the other side in because I think that might help me the other side seems to be going in a lot better than this side here try again I'm being very quiet here because this is one of those bits where it's uh if something's going to go wrong, it will. Right, I've got that screw in. Excellent. Make that tight. Get another XWO1. And that's going to go in this side. And that's imperfect as well. Probably best to uh, just change the camera back here. To show you what I've been doing. So now that is attached to that. Now what they want me to do, once we've got that top one in, they want me to take these brackets off here, I believe. And that's on both sides. Because we're going to be getting the cockpit in, but I will put the cockpit 
back in place. I don't want to undo the screw that I've just put in. So, let's take this one out. It's hard to uh, unscrew when it's opposite you. I don't know if I need to take them both out. I will. We can always put them in afterwards, so. Okay, that's the far side one. Let's do the one nearest to me. One. And two. Okay. Right, so I'm going to have to put this cockpit back together now. Let's figure this out. So, pick up the cockpit and the two extension wires. So, I've got one. And I've got two coming from the cockpit. I'm not quite sure what this one's for here. I'm going to keep that now. That was going nowhere. I might have to uh, just feed that back through later. I don't want it to be too pinched. But either way, it can be hid on this back section here when this goes in but what we want to do is trail this wire so it's not going to pinch onto the cockpit we want the cockpit to fit flat in here so I'm just uh, orientating the wires round so they're not going to pinch so stand by <laughs> this isn't easy good okay I've got to try and get the cockpit down excellent make sure it fits flat in there which it does there got a little pinch there but no that one's in as well the back ones are in that looks good now I've got to put the cockpit together so let's put everything back in as it was which means putting this bulb back in here and putting this into place not good oh, come on I think I've got a little problem here I might put a little bit of glue in this the problem I've got is that uh, I haven't got much give on that one. I'm trying to pull it tight to get as much give as I possibly can. Let's try that again. That's a bit better. Put this in. Yeah, that's better. Excellent. So, make sure that light's staying in. I am going to put a little bit of glue on that. So, stand by. Keeps coming out. It's driving me nuts. So, let's put some glue around the outside here. trapped wire alert um, I've got a wire at the bottom but it's not impeding anything I'm looking at the wires that could possibly in uh, that one looks good there I think we're good Just checking the other side here no nope. no wires are pinched as in I've got some wires under here. Oh God, hang on. There we go, that one's good. A little one here. <laughs> I can see why they told me about the wires now. Excellent. Right, no other wire is trapped there. Okay, let's put this in. Let's 
just going to hold that into place for a second. That's what my uh, extender is, um, Roadrunner. So, that part of the cockpit's in place. What else did they put in? I've got the two boxes in. They haven't got anything else at the moment. Once that's in, and I haven't got any wires. I'm missing a wire, aren't I? Let me have a look, one second. They've got an extension lead in here. Stand by. Something's not right here. looking under this I've got this wire here aha there it is damn it right <laughs> this is car crash Tuesday expect the problems I'm gonna need to take this off again I thought one of the wires was blooming missing I'm going to change the camera back so you can see my pain. I've got to take this section off again. The amount of hassle I had putting it on. Okay. Let's get this screw out here as well. I'd rather find out these problems now than have to deal with the problems later. But I had this extension cable here which was pinched which we don't want to happen so once again I will try and get this back into place okay stand by I definitely think I was a little bit uh, optimistic about how many we're going to do tonight, wasn't I? <laughs> okay. Here's the second one. That's gone in perfect this time. Right. At least the, uh, the bulb's still in there. Now I'm going to feed all of these wires and just see how they've got them as long as they're not pinching the wires here they're saying that it should be alright so I'm just putting the back in first I think just have another bulb fall out so stand by I'm gonna switch the camera again hang on I'm just putting this bolt back in. There we go. Switch the camera back. Okay, let's try that again. So, we'll put the back side in first. That looks kind of okay. I'm not pinching a wire there, so that's okay. I need to put these wires down here. Use this to help me. Oh yeah, almost there. Excellent. Ah, perfect. Right. Can you see that? We've got you can't see the wires, but believe me, I've got no trap wires now. It's looking good looking very good okay so I've got the two leads coming out here that looks excellent okay so what I've got to do now I've got to put the sides back on I can do that they have these coming through the nose section so I'll keep them going in that direction And I'll put these back on the side and screw them in.
Whoops, the daisies. What did I just do then? <laughs> Not sure why I don't have a standby t shirt. Yeah, I should do, shouldn't I? That's one in. If, I, if I'm saying standby, chances are something's going very wrong. <laughs> That's the second one. And then we do the same on the other side. This is the one that you can actually see. Excellent. Well, we've got the cockpit in at the moment. Trouble is, I think, until I screw that cockpit in, it's all just going to fall out all over the place. I'm going to take R2 out for a second, because I do believe we've got to turn this upside down in a second. And here's the second one. Excellent. Well, it's looking like an X-Wing. <laughs> What's next? We've done that, we've done that, I've done that. The side cockpit area now looks like this. Yes, it does look like that. Now it says, how am I going to do this? Let me think. It wants me to have it standing on its cannon ends, which I can do. And I'm going to change the camera angle. There we go. So you can see what I'm doing. Look at that. That's not a bad view. Because we've got to put some screws in. Now we've got XWA 08 screws to put in here. And where do they go first? So they want me to put the two top ones in first. That's going to take the cockpit down from the front. Bear with me. It's hard to screw on camera. That is the that that <laughs> that, that innuendo. These innuendos are getting a lot worse, aren't they? I'm trying to show you, but it's hard to get the camera sorted out for that position, but we'll, we'll see. Hello, Michael. Sorry I'm not reading much of the chat. This is, uh, this is very stressful. Here's the second one. Now, the cockpit's not going to fall out now. I'm going to change the camera, sorry. Hang on. There we go. So, got two screws just into the top. He wants another two screws down the bottom here. Don't know quite, oh, that's holding the back of the cockpit in. That one's going in perfect. One there. And one this side. Right, the cockpit is now in. So that's good. Next, uh, we've got to put the fuselage in. And that's the bit that I just broke, which looks like, where are we? Looks like this. I didn't break it, it just came off. So, just having a look what I've got here. We've got, stand by, one of the sections for the wing. Let me just show you this. Just needs to be put back in here, so hang on a second. There we go, that's that. That's for the uh, canopy. So I'm just gonna put this back in where it goes. So that's him. Press into place and then use four. So we're putting some more screws to screw that one in. That's gonna be in these two areas here. One, that one's number two, it says use four, four screws to secure the computer to the framework, so that must be these back ones as well then, that's a lot of screws, <laughs> okay. I can't believe the size of this, you know, now it's actually all coming together. Let's 
ginormous. Okay, that's another four screws in. We've done that. Uh, take the torpedo bay housing. That's what we just created. Looking like this. You know what? I'm just going to uh, stand by. I'm just going to brighten that up just a touch. There we go. Might be too bright now. And this is going to be going in this way somehow against that, that bulkhead there. Hmm. Oh, I see. Like that. And we're going to be putting three XW03 screws just at the bottom here. I don't know if you can see that. Just at the bottom there. I'm actually going to have it facing me while I do this because it's just going to go pear shaped if I don't. So, that's one. Now I'm seeing it like this. It looks, uh, it does look mighty impressive. It's a lot bigger than my old Kenner one, that's for sure. Number two. And this one over here is number three. Uh, and that's it. That's all we have to do in that stage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the cameras again. Move these screws over here. And I will lie this down gently because now all that's fitted into place there. Just looking at that actually. Stand by. Yep, no, that's okay. Right. Put the uh, camera back down on it. There we go. That looks pretty impressive. What do you think of that? <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. That was uh, that's stage 84 done. I'm going to have a look what we've got to do in stage 85. See if there's uh, a lot. Let's have a look. Uh, we're going to be completing the hyperdrive. Which I think we can start working on that now. I don't think we need any more of this. We've got the connections here which is basically the cutoff switch and the sensor that runs it. Underneath we've got the power switch to switch things on. So theoretically if I turn it on now, which I'm going to do, stand by, I've turned it on. I'm going to change camera over because a lot of you haven't seen this. And I get my R2D2, put him in there, make sure he's uh, sitting down nicely, get the remote which is here and I press the button as you can see. He's working! <laughs> Which is cool. I won't press the middle button, but as you can see, the cockpit lights are still coming on down there. We've got the engine lights. Let's just make sure they're on. Which they're on there. don't know if you can see the uh, red glow on my hand. Then we've got the cannons. They're coming on fine. And then we've just got the middle bit. You know what? We will do the middle bit. Let's uh, go back to head cam. Try and hold this as best I can. Okay, are you ready? <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> love it. Absolutely love it. Look, I've got a big smile on my face when things still work after all of that. Let's turn it off. Don't want to waste the batteries. Uh, but that is the X-Wing. So what I'm going to do, take R2-D2 out again. I'm going to put this on the floor. Over here because we don't need that now so we can now work over here what do you think of that <laughs> it may have been a car crash to start off with but you know what the reward is it, it's the reward of it the rewards brilliant I do love that just seeing that I'm probably never going to use it when it's up and it's just impressive that it does it but god it's impressive now it's actually built as in you can actually see it it's uh yeah it's good <laughs> it's it, it hasn't been the best model to build i think it looks impressive when it's done but um i don't know we'll have to see what happens let me just show you what we're doing in the next bit i don't know how far we're going to get with this 
but as you can see we've got uh, the hyperdrive which I'll be fixing later we're going to be adding loads more things to this so I'm hoping all of these parts come in that doesn't actually say uh, I think I've saved these parts from previously it says uh, take the hyperdrive assembly from stage 82 and lay out all the parts provided with issue 83 and we are now on issue 85 so yeah I've still got the parts for this I'm probably going to need to dig them out to be honest with you uh, let's see what I have got at the moment you see I've got these parts here I'm guessing this is what it's talking about so uh, we will continue just for a minute uh, what's the time so we'll do 10 minutes on this and see how this goes so issue 85 get my uh, scalpel we'll just open this plate up there we go and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be aligning the power generator to the top ring so this is going to be aligned into here like that it doesn't say about holding it in oh it just clips in like it's <laughs> holding itself in that's good it says align the semicircular array like this matching up the locator pins so that has got three locator pins here and that's going to be going on these sections here push that down make sure they all engage which they don't want to at the moment there we go perfect so that's in place that's actually the the end part that I've done first we didn't need to do that yet because <laughs> I missed out all the other bits <laughs> oh bless okay so we need this we need this we need a load of other pipes which I've got I believe in one of my things here have a look uh, not that one is it these hmm I'm not sure if that's what I'm looking for here <laughs> I don't know if I've got all the pieces this could be a uh, short-lived let me just have a look in this one there's nothing in that one and I'm just gonna look in my drawer where all my bits for x-wings are Oh, I've got no other pieces ah oh. well that's gonna be interesting then so we've got oh, what have we got so this longer one here the pieces don't even look the same oh oh <laughs> I'm missing some bits yeah. you're never gonna see this right <laughs> let me put in the bits that I have got I've got these little whatever they are where do these go in <laughs> these aren't the parts you're looking for I've got a funny feeling these are for another build you know but uh, well we'll see they'll turn up I, I, I very rarely chuck anything that's for sure because there's a there's a grid that goes over the top as well you know what I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this until I find everything the uh, uh, hang on um, just check my little R2D2 screw holder see what we got in there no nothing in there I don't know I don't know where they've gone <laughs> what can I put in I've got these lovely bits here but it doesn't tell me where they go uh, stand by I've got these little bits so I can put them bits in these go either side of this section here so there we go look I can do one thing so let's line these up I'll do what I can that one goes in there it doesn't say I've got to glue them in but I am going to put a bit of glue on there the only bits that I'm missing are just these front bits here so I will uh, I will find them now they go with the detail part of this on the outside so that's one bit of glue just for the other side here this is going to be a very quick stage if I can't continue it <laughs> that's number two so I can do that no problems 
and looks like that mirror steps 13 to 15 fit the side the second side casing on the left side I've done that take the remaining sprue I've got that carefully move each item and they're going to be going ah uh, they're going to be going onto these holes at the back here so I can do that let's uh, take one off and see how this looks right so these get pushed into the holes here very detailed uh, I need my tweezers for this again I think I'm gonna probably put some glue in there because they don't want to sit on their own typical and there we go so we've got a few of these to put in just seeing it's uh, how many six yep we've got six of these to put in supercar crash today yeah I can't believe I've lost some bits they will turn up but this is definitely another one of these things that we're never gonna see isn't it so I'm panicking over pipe work and stuff like that but we are never ever ever in a million years gonna see it <laughs> unless I take the whole thing down and say look let's open this panel up and see what's in there put some glue just in here I like how the bits I have got are uh, nothing spectacular I need some new tweezers the ones that I have that bend are bent <laughs> and you know what I can't even see the holes I'm gonna have to uh, I'll try one last time before I put my glasses on I've got one in no get in there you know what? I'm getting annoyed now <sighs> see I put glue in there this is this is a joke get in there <laughs> I'm gonna put one more in and I think I'll call it a day there because this is uh, this is getting beyond the joke now <laughs> car crash Tuesdays never fails to please does it I can't even get them in straight there we go that's better and then we continue doing that throughout them now there's six of those to go in once they're all in just looking at the uh, instructions there's the there's one more thing to do get this the bits that I'm missing actually come on this section here but then they want us to put this frame on over the top of it so you're never gonna see it so everything I'm putting in here now is being put on by this cover and it's gonna be hidden you know what I'm uh, I'm quitting there that's uh this is <laughs> Talk about in one stage I'm just gonna turn the aircon off because it's uh it's getting on my nerves in one stage they amaze me by how the Xbox uh, the X-Wing looks and in the second stage they have this stupidness of they want me to put loads of details in and then cover it <laughs> with a cover <laughs> oh, that's the whole thing about this build so many details we put in here you're never gonna see again I don't I don't know what I feel about that I don't know how I feel it's different if it's something like you know like if you're doing the cockpit or you're doing the interior of a plane and you look through the windows and you can see the seats and you can see the details there but with this you're never gonna see it ah it's weird just stick the cover on I'm probably gonna do that Robert but I will put in what I've got those other bits are somewhere and they're definitely not these bits that's for sure I don't know what this is from this must be from one of the car builds but um I should really label things up better shouldn't I so I can't believe that when we put that cover on it's uh it look look at a picture look it hides it everything <laughs> everything that I'm panicking about it hides 
I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to not just do it. <laughs> but there you go. Yes, Steve, you're absolutely right. OCD is going to make me put it in. And OCD is going to make me go around here looking for those missing bits as well. And I'll find them and then probably still decide I'm not going to put them in. But, uh, oh, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? <laughs> oh, what's that? <laughs> I'm Mrs. World Wayne. You're having a conversation with Mrs. World Wayne. You know something, Roadrunner? I haven't had a drink tonight at all. So, uh, there you go. But yeah, I'm, I was just, uh, I'm just putting those bits in now, um, Mike. You know, look, I've put two of them in at the moment. But what's the point? What's the point if you're never going to see them? I'm, I'm, I've asked myself that question quite a long times on this. Now, listen, the stream tonight, how's it been on Wi-Fi? Have we dropped out at all? I, I haven't got a clue. So um, that would be the last thing that we do, just checking to see if we have done that before I go. But um, hopefully it's been running good. So workshop's getting there, Ian. These lights are being changed tomorrow because I've got the wrong ones. So all three of these shelves will be lit up. But uh, there you go. And you see, look, I've got the Peugeot on the top shelf, even though you're never going to see that. But the reason I put the shelf up there is so it can light the Bismarck up when I put those lights on. So uh, we're getting there good. Someone says it's fine. Someone says it's lagging. Lagging doesn't doesn't bother me. It's whether it's stuttering or it's, you know, bad quality. How warm is it in the man cave? It's quite cool at the moment, Roadrunner, because I've had the air conditioning on. But uh, there you go. But go back to cable. I wish I could, but I can't keep putting the cable across the across the garden. Okay, and laggy, but not bad. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll get there in the end. <laughs> we'll see. But I'm stressed. I'm very stressed after tonight's live stream. <laughs> I can't believe. I'm going to try and find these bits anyway, and then we'll complete it. I can't believe we've only really done two two issues. I thought we'd get up to issue 95 by today, but that never happened, did it? So, but listen, thank you all for watching. Tomorrow we've got the leopard tank coming out, uh, and then I've got the Patreon stream uh, tomorrow night, and then Thursday we should have the next four issues of the Spitfire, and then we've got the usual chat, and then on Friday I'm going to finish up the week by doing the next stage or the next issue of the Star Trek Enterprise. So that's coming on Friday. But uh, listen, thank you all for joining me, and take care.